Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a future love reading. Okay, so it's going to be all about future messages, all right? So let's get into it. Uh, thank you God for blessing Aquarius with clear, concise messages from you. All right, so the first two cards coming out are Ghostlands and Field of Dreams. So the cards want you with Ghostlands to stay in the here in the now, getting too far in the future or staying in the past is not good for you. You need to stay right here and right now. What is it here and now? Um, looking too far ahead uh, causes for disappointment. You're setting yourself up for disappointment. And looking too far in the past, nostalgia just causes for lack of growth, stagnancy or being stagnant, right? Um, so focus on here and now. What is your love life like right now, here and now? How can you improve on it? Um, what can you do? What part do you play? Then we have field of dreams. Okay. Um, it talks about your uh, thoughts, your emotions right now. Don't let the outside, the external manipulate what's how you really feeling your intuition or what you want to come to pass your manifestation. Um, focus on positive so that positive can actually manifest in your life. Your thoughts, your field of dreams it are your thoughts here. So make sure that they are positive. They nurture you. And they add to you. They have value. And they aren't just negative and downtrodden and woe is me. And it never happens for me. You don't want to think like that. You want to think like it is me. I'm the shit. You know, blah, 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 whatever. So uh, make sure that your thoughts, your field of dreams, it's just it's wonderful. It's vast. It's positive. Um, this card reduces to an eight. This reduces to a three. That gives us 11. So this is about manifestation. And we just talked about that with the field of dreams. Um, you you could, don't get too far into, into the future though, Aquarius. And sometimes you can do that as an Aquarius. You start thinking about when you meet somebody, because this reading is about love. When you meet someone, you start thinking about the future and what it looks like. And we'll have this many kids and we'll live here and we'll do this and that. Live in the here and the now. If it's good right here and right now, just live in that. Because you never know what it could turn into, what trials, tribulations you'll have to go through. Um, also about current situations here. And, you know, if it's not so great, that's okay. And you still have energy, uh, time to make it better if that's what you want to do. Um, but don't go too far in the future and definitely don't stay stuck in the past. So let's see um, what the um love oracle cards have to say what are the love messages for aquarius the future love messages i know that we're not supposed to be too far in the future says the coastlands but we don't want to we want to talk about past situations we already know what happened in the past you know all right so let's see what are the future love messages ascending very nice things are you know obstacles are being removed either either for you or your person you're learning expanding it's a new phase and you're preparing for union so that's very good and we said that these two cards here are about manifestation so some of you are definitely preparing for union in the near future you're ascending learning getting better letting go of moving forward it just doesn't make sense to stay there so yeah let's see Future energy for Aquarius. Wow. So uh, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, a block and restraint. You're moving, ascending past addiction because you're coming out as the Phoenix. Once again, a new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. So maybe you're changing your mind either for the better or um, whatever the better may be, whether it's it, you're leaving a particular person uh or a relationship or a marriage or whatever it is or you're staying in it because it, it does talk about rekindling and renewing a regeneration uh the phoenix something rising from the ashes things have been burned down so that now it, you can fly you can flourish you can grow you know sometimes you have to burn the field you know and then you you grow your crops or you plant the seed there so um, some of you are coming out of codependent relationships. Um, I heard narcissism, either for you or someone that you are with. Um, you're coming out of that blockage there. Some of you just are addicted to always have an issue, problem in relationship. If there wasn't a problem, you created one. Um, even if you felt like you weren't creating one. Um, 
yeah girl with the snake so okay empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries so some of you have or you are creating boundaries and that's why um the narcissist came out here you were realizing that you were with a narcissist you were with someone who was sucking the life out of you who was charming who was charismatic outgoing uh, made you feel one way when it was another way um they were cunning okay and you you've come in uh into terms with that in the near future here so um it looks like you're going to be rising from all of this addiction codependent nature um you being charmed by someone you are ascending in the near future what's going on here all right um okay so we got the snake coming out again competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so there could be that you were either the other woman or there is another woman in the paradigm in your relationship here look over your shoulder okay because it looks like whomever you're with they unconditionally love you and there's unconditional love coming from you too giving and receiving affection falling in love so you could be falling in love in the near future but maybe there's some narcissists i don't know why narcissists came out i was gonna say karmic narcissist karmic person who won't let your love interest go um and hopefully that's not you uh but you know you could be dealing with someone who just can't um who has a stalker basically date in the near future meeting someone new dating getting back out there and planning and setting a date so very nice so you could be dating in the near future i'm um, just getting out there again you're going to stay in the present in the here in the now it's just a date you're not getting married you're not moving in together stay in the here and the now don't make any future plans don't set yourself up for failure disappointment okay i heard disgruntled okay um so let's see one more card from the near future the butterfly very nice relationship evolving again the next phase healing the inner child and growth so it's just like um either you or whomever you're dealing with or is it both of you you are really going on this journey of evolving ascending the phoenix um somebody shifting the paradigm here someone's learning someone's learning to be better either you or your person or is it both of you or you're meeting someone new you're going on dates and you're just at a place where you're trusting yourself you trust your intuition you trust um your your gut feeling uh, now because uh, you've gotten in tune with yourself wow the palm tree came out just in my hand uh, stability security growth again permanence endurance and flexibility so it's just like you're gonna be resting under that palm tree maybe you're going to trip with your person to where palm trees are native i don't know um but stability is here and security in a relationship this is very very good for you in your near future aquarius um this is a uh, phenomenal okay let's see um let's see what the kipper deck has to say for you how your near future what it looks like what does the near future look like in love for aquarius in the here in the now stay here and now aquarius don't flutter don't think negatively about what's going on with you uh think positively um be positive be the person that you would um attract that you would choose okay uh don't be unrealistic um let's see whoa and that wasn't it flipped out of my into my hand marriage wanted to come out so in the near future aquarius you get married you're partnering the initial stages of creation you'll marry and you guys will create you know maybe a family uh, legacy dynasty all right in the near future what do we have for the aquarius what do we have for aquarius in the near future for love we have occupation so you definitely be occupied with this marriage this, with this new love here and um, some of you could be meeting someone by way of your occupation your job both of you could be creatives or do your own thing or do independent work um it'd be room opportunity to come together but you also have opportunity to do your own thing because you both understand uh, the true nature of an entrepreneur in the near future you got a good news message coming to you this card talks about seven days i like to say seven weeks for some people but it, the card says seven days and it's a good news message um so whatever that it could be someone inviting you out invitation a date um this could even be a proposal or setting something up to be proposed to you what is um happening for aquarius in the near future says the kipper cards all right two cards when they come out 
false person so somebody's hiding something but again high honor this looks like somebody wants uh, back to the setup they could be calling you out inviting you under false pretense but it's to honor you in public most times people propose marriage in public okay the high honor talks about public recognition here yeah um this looks really good um somebody also could be holding back their emotions uh they don't know how to really really let go they don't know how to be vulnerable intimate um, but they do want to show you maybe by way of doing something for you gifting you something giving you something taking you somewhere showing you off to other people that they honor you that they have high honor for you and the connection last cards for the near future in love for aquarius whoa i love this card it's a big card because this card talks about a long lasting solid relationship and we did have permanence and stability come out in the love oracle cards this card talks about something arriving and departing some of you could be leaving a relationship and some of you a relationship is arriving for you a solid one a house is most times stable you know it's not going anywhere you can't pick up a house and move it um you can but when that doesn't happen often you know um but anyhow the, the house card talks about a stable relationship it can even talk about moving in together whoa family room yeah this person definitely wants to take you to new um heights or open you up to um maybe places in their life that they didn't open up to before or this is a, be a new person this new person is just going to want to you know um, dote on you show you off show you off to family bring you around the fold um, bring you into intimate spaces here Altogether, Aquarius, this new pathway is opening it up for you. Um, something you've been learning how to be the butterfly, how to transition, how to grow, uh, grow within yourself, heal the inner child so that you can be on this new path of uh, newness, okay, of maybe even healing. And the path is leading to permanence, marriage. This is so beautiful. You got nothing but great cards coming out of um, three decks now. Let's see. Um, what does this deck want to say to the Aquarius? Near future in love for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius in the near future? It's kept wanting to come out. Your body is perfect. So somebody is just enamored by you, okay? They're passionate. They're hot for you. They feel like um, everything about you is just perfect. They love your curves or if you're a man, they love, you know, your biceps. They love the guns, you know, all of that. Um, so this person is uh, definitely physically attracted to you. And it, and it does make a difference to be physically attracted to uh, anything. Um, definitely to the, the person that you're going to spend your life with. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what the near future holds for Aquarius. Okay, security. Very nice. We got security coming again. So you're going to be in a secure, loving relationship. I don't know. I put loving in there. Uh, but definitely a secure relationship. You're not going to be insecure. You're not going to be wondering if this is going to fall apart. Um, if it's going to last. Um, you know, will you guys be broken up in a year or six months? No, it's security here. All because you healed. Maybe this person even went through healing. Let's see. What is going on for Aquarius in the near future? um how okay so low life came out maybe you're gonna be transit transcending or going away from this low life low vibing people this low life could be trying to save something with you trying to save the relationship or the marriage this could even be somebody who cheated cheated you took your time took your love took your essence maybe even cheated with other people they're now trying to save the connection what is the near future for aquarius yeah somebody is going to be like you are my sunshine okay this car came i can't talk after 8 p.m boundary set I heard you got you both are gonna occupation came out also you both are going to have your own individual lives yes it will be a merging of two lives but it's not going to be where we do every single thing together and we're on top of each other 
and we can't do anything without one another and we can't do have our own lives no it's going to be if i'm trying to get something done in my own life in my own business then you're going to respect my boundaries as my partner i can't talk after 8 p.m maybe i'm in school maybe i'm learning something maybe i'm you know i have a big project it looks like whomever you're with is going to respect your boundaries here because they're going to have their own also and they're going to have their own life and it's not going to be a tug of war it's not going to be strife you know because you know um you both are going to be on the same level wow you're going to get what you are deserving of aquarius in the near future very nice very very nice whatever you're deserving of um let's see what else is coming for the aquarius in the near future happiness happy and warm very, very we have the palm tree maybe you guys are going to travel somewhere warm with your person whomever this is they're gonna make you very 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 happy okay a few more cards for aquarius in the near future um and it's not even that you weren't happy before they came into your life. It's just that the partnership just makes it even more, you know, icing on the cake. I don't know how to take that one. Cheating while she's pregnant. So I, I don't know if somebody's going to be trying to come back and run game. Because they want to access to your body. Um, we did have that narcissist and the empath card. Be weary of that, Aquarius. Somebody is just stuck on you and they can't let you go. But it looks like you're sending past that and you're meeting someone new. You've grown out of that. So just keep in mind that could show up for you in the near future. There could be some masculine who will be kind of trying to hide their their desire their emotions their feelings their passion they be trying to beard it you know like they don't really want to show you exactly how they feel about you they have like emotional intellect like they know how to play the game yeah uh, maybe they don't want to lay it on too thick but maybe they have a lot of feelings for you or this is you masculine like you're not going to try to show someone exactly how you feel you got somebody who's not healed coming back they're hard-headed don't be hard-headed aquarius and deal with this person again if they were unkind to you and they're unwilling to make it right apologize and be sincere let it go yes yeah, somebody's stuck on you and they're ready to come with the theatrics this is somebody who's a, who smokes a lot somebody's addicted stuck on you a druggie a smoker and not to say that all smokers are druggies or anything like that but um sometimes when the stoner card comes out it's about somebody's addiction so, so this person is going to come with the theatrics playing games could be a feminine energy doing this it says you need to create boundaries Text me, don't call me. This person gonna get live with you, boo. They, this person don't, they don't know how to, they know that you're valuable. You were very valuable in their life. They're missing you. They just don't even know how to even like place value where value belongs. It's just like they treat everybody the same. They're insecure and they have a lot of, um, they don't value themselves. Therefore, how could they ever value you? Is what I'm hearing. Somebody who gets around. This keeps coming out. I don't know. It's like every day is going to be Valentine's Day for you, Aquarius. Someone's going to feel safe with you in the near future. You're going to feel safe with them. What else do we have, Aquarius, for love in the near future? You could be in a very, with a very rational person, okay? You can make rational decisions. You could be with like an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or someone who has that in their chart. All right, a few more cards. Definitely love will be there. Okay. It will be in the midst of this relationship. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius near future in love? All 
all right so we got somebody wanting to come back and just come back and just kind of like um just show up when they weren't there for you when they when you needed them they were rude to you or they just rudely left they're gonna they're in for a rude awakening they haven't healed they need to heal they want to come back and take from you usurp just come back and just take they don't give anything just take 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 all right let's see um wh while somebody was separated from you separated from you separated from them they were like leaving something behind this person stuck on you they love the way you dress they feel like you're an earth angel so they love your style whomever this is they're stuck on you I love your smile came out house again this person really wants a relationship with you whomever this is new or old or I don't know last cards for Aquarius what do we have for Aquarius love messages for Aquarius Okay, I'm going to have to clarify this for me because this is, see, clarify this, please. Is it what I'm thinking? Yeah. Okay. So definitely somebody that you were separated from, they went through a whole phase of maybe growing, coming out of this whole con man, con woman, being a fraud and a liar phase out of that dark phase that they were in because they grew in that they grew from that and now they want to reconcile with you they just want you to be understanding that's all they can ask for yeah you're not sure if it's a good idea things have been suspended between the two of you for a very long time some of you you, you just kind of in suspended animation right now especially if you are thinking about divorcing this is what I have for you, Aquarius, in the near future. It looks like you're going to have new and old clashing meeting up and you're going to make a decision about what you're going to do, who you're going to choose, but you're definitely going to have lots of love, dates, offers. Keep in mind, stay in the here and the now. Don't get too futuristic with the people you meet, the people you know, people from the past. It is what it is. What they're showing you right now is what they're showing you right now. Take everybody at face value. This is what I have for you. If you want to get your own future reading like this, you can go over to the website, book there. You can book the 10 minute reading and you can say, I want to know what future energy is coming for me. Um, this is what I have for you again, Aquarius. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come ask questions. Um, come for the collective reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.